Welcome to the Manassas Regional Airport Master Plan. My name is Lana Olanian, and I'm a planner on this project. We really appreciate your involvement during this project because the outcome is essential to the airport and to the community. During this briefing, I'm gonna inform you of what a master plan is and what you can expect out of this master plan update. So let's get going. An airport master plan is a detailed study to plan for the short, intermediate, and long-term development goals of the airport. The primary goal of an airport master plan is to create a 20-year development program to maintain a safe, efficient, economical, and environmentally acceptable airport facility for the community. By achieving this goal, the contents of the master plan will result in a new capital improvement program, providing a roadmap to the future to satisfy the aviation demand in a financially feasible and responsible manner, while at the same time addressing the aviation, environmental, and socioeconomic issues of the community. A master plan with an updated airport layout plan is also essential for an airport to receive government funding for development. A master plan is to an airport what a flight plan is to a pilot. A pilot creates a flight plan that includes everything they'll need to know for a flight. Things like how much fuel is needed for the flight, what kind of weather will they run into, potential routes to the destination, and obstacles to watch out for during the flight. A master plan does the same thing for an airport. We create a plan that accounts for everything the airport is going to need for the next 20 years. Things like runway infrastructure, new taxiways, where new hangars need to be built, or do we need additional aircraft firefighting apparatus? And then we build steps to develop and grow the airport facilities over time. Four key questions considered that will result in a successful master plan are, one, does the master plan provide guidelines for future development? During this effort, the project team will make sure to implement established general guidelines by the FAA while ensuring the airport and community have a clear approach to the next 20 years. Two, does the master plan satisfy future aviation demand? Development of a reliable activity baseline for the next 20 years will be critical in this master plan success. This baseline will be a guiding principle to make sure facility plans created support the future demand of the airport. Three, is the master plan financially feasible? With this in mind, the master plan will ensure the airport has the financial capabilities to support a development program based on existing or future funding mechanisms. And four, does the master plan consider environmental and socioeconomic conditions? Aviation is invaluable for our planet's socioeconomic developments and airports are in a unique position to support sustainable development. During this master plan effort, we will look at every aspect of the airport to ensure the airport is creating added value from a social, environmental, and economic standpoint. There are two main products that come out of a master plan. The first product is an airport layout plan. The airport layout plan is a set of drawings providing a conceptual representation of the long-term development of the airport. It graphically displays the concept and reports the data and logic upon which the plan is based. The plans are prepared to support the modernization of the existing airport and development plans over the next 20 years. The second product is a technical report. Included in the technical report is an aviation activity forecast, inventory and facility requirements, development alternatives, an implementation plan, and finally the airport layout plan. The FAA must review and approve the aviation activity forecast and the airport layout plan before the master planning process is complete. These reports will be provided to you and published on the airport master plan website. Our approach to master planning focuses on identifying social concerns, operating policies, and responsible action that will achieve a long-term sustainable airport development. This graphic best describes our approach. The inner circle is the traditional facilities master plan, reviewing aviation demand, and deciding how to accommodate it long term. This would be done under a financial framework, the third concentric circle identified as financial stability. This is described best as planning and financing are one. Within this ring, funding capacity is evaluated and opportunities to reduce expenses and increase aeronautical and non-aeronautical revenues are explored. All of this would be done under the four pillars of sustainability, which are one, economic viability, two, operational efficiency, three, natural resource conservation, and four, social responsibility. This would be the fourth concentric circle. 
The fifth concentric circle is community engagement and demonstrates that the airport is part of the broader community and the public's input is vital for success throughout the project life cycle. 13 emphasis items were identified by the airport and stakeholders at the onset of the master plan. These emphasis items include, one, vehicle access. How do regional roadway improvements impact the airport? Could roadway improvements increase attractiveness for business travelers? Two, multimodal pedestrian access. How does the VRE expansion project at Broad Run Station and other transportation plans impact the airport? Three, terminal area. A detailed review of the terminal area and nearby facilities will be completed to determine the highest and best land use for this area. Four, FBO expansion. This master plan will integrate expansion of fixed space operators or FBOs on airport into the overall airport layout plan and will offer guidance for land use, aircraft operations, drainage, and future expansion of facilities. Five, east side expansion. The master plan will identify the most effective way to develop this area by exploring grade, utilities, access, cost, and environmental impacts. Six, runway extension. The corporate aircraft fleet at the airport is growing and flying increased distances. This master plan will examine a potential extension to the south of runway 16 left, 34 right. 7. Northwest Development Area The master plan will examine this area and align potential development with the long-term preferred development plan. 8. Air Traffic Control Tower the preferred recommendation for the air traffic control tower site will be incorporated into the preferred development plan. 9. Broad Run A comprehensive assessment of the creek will be done and will explore the ability to alleviate some of the environmental impacts to the east side expansion area. 10. Southwest Expansion This master plan will examine the potential acquisition of privately owned, undeveloped land located in Prince William County to convert the land use for future aeronautical development. 11. Land Use Review A comprehensive review of existing and future land uses will be examined in this master plan. 12. Airport Layout Plan A new airport layout plan is a necessary element of the master plan. As part of this airport layout plan, new imagery, safety critical planimetrics, obstruction survey, and updated Exhibit A will be completed and 13, sustainability plan. The master planning process will provide an opportunity to examine and improve on processes, including resilience and risk management and reduction in energy and water use. This project is anticipated to take just under two years from start to finish. The public involvement process will take place throughout the life of the project. There are three main phases of the project, and they include an investigation phase, a solutions and implementation phase, and a documentation phase. I encourage the community to stay informed about the master plan by visiting the airport website. On the airport website, you will find a link for the master plan where you can keep up to date on technical reports and provide any questions or comments you may have for the master plan effort. We'll make sure to reach out to you and provide you with any answers or information you may be looking for. Thank you for your time and we really appreciate your involvement.